What are the emotions as you're getting ready for heading over to Europe? Is it nerves, excitement, a little bit of both? Honestly, for me, it really hasn't hit me yet. I don't think it's really going to hit me until we get to the airport, but I'm excited. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're all excited. We've been working since, what, uh, May? Well, actually, <laughs> all May year, year, actually, <laughs> all year. We, um, we haven't, you know, went home yet. We haven't um, taken any breaks yet, so we've been preparing all year for this. Uh, I think we all just ready to play with each other for the first time and just enjoy our trip. Amber, what are you looking forward to, to seeing there and, and doing there? Is this something that's really going to stick out in your mind, do you think, for this team? Um, I'm honestly looking forward for us to bond as a team in, in other countries, see a lot of different um, things, a culture. Um, and I'm looking forward to like seeing the museums and like the different kind, kinds of art over there. In Asia, I mean, it's it's a little unique because you, you get together with ten practices kind of in the middle of the summer. Uh, you know, most teams don't do that. Uh, where do you think you guys stand after uh, nine practices? It, does it look like it's still girls in the summertime, or uh, you trying to trying to get together and get everybody on the same page, or do you see kind of the progress? We're still trying to put the pieces together, mm -hmm. um, but I think it gives us a better scale overall as to where we'll be in October. Um, it gives us, um, you know, a jump start on other teams that don't have this opportunity. So I think it just uh, puts us ahead of everyone else. The international rules, uh, you know, something's a little bit different. Uh, how have you guys been preparing for that during practices? Um, yeah, our coach has been telling us, like, the shot clock is like, what is it, 24? Mm -hmm. And, like, it's an eight second, uh, eight second <coughs> uh, back court violation, like, it's it's hard to like pick it up like because we just just had ten practices but like it's all coming along and like we getting better at it. Have you guys watched any of it on TV to actually see how it, any of the changes that it is here in America? I've, I've watched previous players from here who have played overseas, so um, I guess you could say sort of. But uh, Coach Tardamella, he's been putting like twenty seconds on the shot clock during practice just to give us like you know, rush us a little bit, but not, you know, to make poor decisions, but to kind of get us used to how it'll be over there because, you know, it is shorter, we have less time in the backcourt, so we, we kind of, not really rush, but we have to speed up our game a little bit. Do you think that caters to your style of play, though? Definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, Amber, what do you think of the, the four freshmen? It's, you know, it's pretty early. I mean, they're still, you know, going through a major adjustment, but uh, how would you sum them up and, and how they can help you in your senior year? Yeah, it's early, but um, from from now you can tell that they're uh, hard workers or, and everything. So that's good, and they're kind of picking up on everything uh, fast. And we need that right now, being that we're about to play these games. And does Amani guard you, I guess, every day or like, you sometimes? Get... I, I will uh, coach uh, Pelican. He went out there and like I guess to see like the teams or whatever. Uh, but he said it pretty good. Like. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard, but like we're going to get it. Yeah, it's kind of difficult uh, preparing for these teams, but not, it's not like as in a regular season game where we have that kind of time and the preparation. But they're doing the best they can to prepare us for it. So. Um, as athletes, I guess uh, Coach was saying that you know he, he doesn't necessarily want you to focus on the result, the end result, but he just wants you to focus on just getting the game together and getting, you know, meshing as a unit, um, as athletes, does that help, you know, help your mind, ease your mind, I guess, a little bit that, you know, just to, not, not having to worry about the results per se, but just getting ready as a unit for this coming year? Uh, it takes a little bit of pressure off uh, having to win. It kind of helps focus us more on being together as a team and what we need to do to get ready for the actual season. Uh, we don't really know what to expect right now from the teams because we haven't been able to scout them. Um, we haven't watched them or anything like that. So we're kind of, you know, going into this blindsided. But, I mean, as long as we play hard, he's going to he's gonna be happy about it. So it's the main thing. Denisha, tell, tell me about uh, Krista Simmons. So she's, I mean, she's, she's from Madrid. She, you know, she went through a tough injury last year. You know, has lived here for a few years, not going back. Uh, uh, telling me about her game, and, and obviously there's probably a lot going on for her right now. 
uh, ahead of this trip, and then she wants to play well too uh, with you guys in front of you guys. Right. Um, right now, she's she's been great for us. She's uh, in practice. She's taken a lot of charges, so uh, that shows her experience on the defensive end. And uh, she's a great shooter as well. So that's something that we'll need. Like we'll need that shooter since we lost Bree. <laughs> so uh, we'll need a shooter. <clears throat> and um, yeah, like I said, on the defensive end, she's really locked down, and she'll be one of those people late game who will get us that stop that we need. Uh, girls, you guys are going overseas to play ball, but uh, there's also a lot of community service aspects. Um, you guys get to do some sightseeing. Anything you guys are really looking forward to seeing? Any of you guys have anything? Have any of you been overseas before to like Italy or Spain? No. Okay, so no. anything that you guys are really excited to see? I know Crystal's excited to go home. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm actually excited to see the Vatican. Um, like, um, like I said before, I'm just excited to see the different art, the different types of art. Just so. visiting a different country. Okay, anything that you guys got from the men's team going overseas, the experience that they had last year? Um, did they talk to you guys about it at all to prepare you guys? Um, well, Chris Obekwa did. He said it was fun or whatever, it's worth it to go there. And the food is okay. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> We're gonna have to bear with it. The pizza they said is fine, so I can eat that all day. <laughs> yeah, I think we're just gonna have to like be open to try new things. What do you think about playing so many games in such a short period of time? Kind of takes you back to like AAU. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's bad. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's it's that much of a difference. We we've, we've had times like that. Um, last season, where we've had to play games, um, multiple games over a short period of time, Big East tournament, NCAA tournament. So it's, it's not really that new, but like I said, the, the whole scouting piece, the whole preparation piece is completely different for us right now. It's, like she said, it's almost AAU.